Hi everyone, welcome back to the craft room. First things first are my thank yous. So I want to say a big thank you to Betty for the super thanks and to Heather for the coffee. So thank you very much, both of you. That was very kind. Right, today's card. I On my drawing course, I've learned how to draw a strange little fish. So I thought I might try again with the drawing so I don't know whether it's a good idea or not but I'm going to go for it so what I th I've got a pencil an eraser a fine liner that's a, a hoo hoo fine liner I haven't got anything else yet I've got some paper to draw on and I'm probably going to colour in alcohol markers and uh, yeah see where we go so for my fish i thought i would draw i mean my fish is probably going to be very similar to the teacher's fish because it's the only one i've drawn well i drew a couple more but um they were all along similar lines but i thought i would have possibly a big fish here and then two three little little fish as well round him so a big fish and some little fish I don't know whether I should get a bigger piece of paper so that I can cut it down. Just a second. Yeah, I'm thinking if I've got a bigger piece, I can cut round where I need to cut it. So it might be a better idea. But it is going to be down to sort of the, towards the bottom. So my first fish, I'm going to try and talk through it as I do it. But I do sometimes go quiet and start to concentrate on what I'm doing because it's this is sort of really new to me, this drawing lock. So, but I'll do my best. So I'm going to start off with a, a circle, very light circle, which is the start of my fish. And then he's going to have big eyes here. So I'm going to do two circles there. Like that. I don't like those already. Let me do those again. I want them a bit more round and upright. So they're going to overlap, so I'm going to just do them both. And then I'll erase afterwards. So his mouth, so that's going to come out that way a little bit. So his mouth, I'm going to give him a bit of a lip. This is going to be a big smiling fish. So I'm going to do a big smile like that. And then put in the inside of his mouth there like that. I think I want him to have a bit of a bigger lip on there. Like that. I don't want him coming out that high out of his eye, so I'm going to go take him down a little bit. So his top fin, dorsal fin, is going to go up like that. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to give him a bit of a wavy fin. And he's going to have another one down here. It's going to be similar to that, so I'm going to do a down like that, and then I'm going to do a bit of a wave coming up. And its other one is going to be there, thinking. So he's going to come around like that, up there, and he's going to have his tail coming out, so I'm going to do a do a similar tail like that. So basically, because I'm going to put all the added extras on when I do the colour in, and I only want the outline, I think that is basically it for the big fish. 
so let me do a couple more I'll do the smaller ones so same thing I'm going to do a circle and eyes These are going to have open mouth as well. But I'm going to do a bit of a bobbly thing. No, I don't like him at all. I might just stick with one at the minute. <laughs> I might just stick with that one. So he's going to have his eyeballies up there. I can draw those in with a bit of a highlight on, not like that. Deb, come on. A bit of a highlight on them. Yeah, so any extras are going to be on later. <laughs> so that's him. He's going to come alive with the colouring, hopefully. Let me do that again. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the outline so that I can rub it rub this out because if you alcohol marker over pencil it seals it. There's no way you can get rid of it. I think I might yeah. so I'm gonna outline this carefully I think I might put the um like him with a white pen later because I'm going to do some dots and stuff on him I think so there's the start of him I'm just going to let that pen dry for a second before I start trying to rub it out like that I've um, sort of done a double line there but I'll I'll repair that later I might go around him again with a thicker fine liner once he's coloured which is what we're doing next so the thing about what colours to do him I might do it in orange orange and orange and teal my two favorite colors which I always resort to but why not so let me grab out some colors he's gonna I think he's gonna be more orange than teal I've got a YR5 which is terracotta YR5. I've got a orange salmon pink and mellow peach and for the teals I've got a Forest green and a peacock blue, but I might pull out some more of those later. So, starting with the darkest colour first, I'm going to do a bit of shading on him so he'll be a bit dark in his mouth there. down here, I'm going to do a little bit at a time I think, 
Let's start with those two places. Go to the next darkest one. And this one. On this one I'll just do a little bit in his mouth. Put a little bit out of there. Use that one as the darkest one now. Right, the majority of it the lightest colour. him up a little bit more. I might darken that up a bit later. So next, let's do this bin. It's going to be dark back here. in a little bit. And let's do his body. Oh, I need to see if this is going to, how these are going to look over the top of these. Should be alright, I think. Yeah, it'll be alright. Okay, so body. It's going to be dark down here. About where his fin is there. And definitely back here. A bit more back here. his eyes and 
do a bit on this lip there. And later to move this a bit of a highlight in his body. It's going to be darker in his mouth because he needs to be. Might do a bit of grey over that. Let's grab a grey. Oops, don't want to grab everything. This is a cool grey for. Just take that orange down a little bit. A bit down here as well. Let me grab something else. There we go, that's a neutral grey three, which I might just use around his eyes. A bit of something on there. And then blend that out with a, a zero. Okay. So, I'm do a little bit more blending on that because I don't like it. And now I'm going to do some, uh, I don't know, dots, I think, dots. I'm not going to worry too much about any of it. I have a few... Some different colour was similar colour but different. Mm. Right, 
I'm going to sit and look at him for a little while and see if that's all I want to do on him before I put some highlighting on. Right, I'm going to go round him first with a 1.0. I don't know whether that's a good idea because it's quite thick, but I'm going to do it anyway. So, outlined. <clears throat> 29 minutes so far, so I might speed a little bit of this up, but we'll see. Let me put everything away and I will be right back. And then I might outline some of his dots as if it was stamped. To separate them up and highlight them a little bit. Um, pen highlighter. So let's um, make sure it's working. I'm going to put highlight in his eyes like that. I might put a highlight on his nose. Fishes haven't got noses, have they? That doesn't work very well. Let's get a better one. That's better. A little bit under here. And we can do a little bit up here. There he is. I think I want to do some bubbles coming out of his coming out of his mouth, but I'm a bit nervous about that now. I've said it, so. I'm gonna do it. Let me get a thinner one though. I think we do a three. This is what the teacher did on the course, some bubbles coming out of his mouth. I thought it looked quite nice. So I'll let that dry and then I'll rub that out, the pencil. Okay, I don't know whether to go round him with some a blue grey. I think I might. I think I might. And then I will leave him alone and get the card together so that you can uh, <laughs> stop watching if you haven't stopped already. So let's find this one, which is blue grey three. Yeah, I think that'd be alright. Yeah, I'm just going to go around him. There he's done.
Okay, so I've done him at five and a half squared. The next one at five and six eighths, and then a five and seven eighths for the blank. No, the mat layer is five and five eighths. I've just got a bit of gunk on there. Of course, I have. So let me look for a sentiment. So I'm thinking of just to say hello. I think that sentiment might be a bit small, but I'm going to cut it anyway just to see. And if I think it's too small, I'll do something else. Oh, it might be okay. Let's get it stuck together and then see. Couple of dots on. I've got this uh, dual tip dot pen just in that colour, which is the same as his outline. So I might just do a couple of three of these five, <laughs> a couple of three. Five. So that's today's card. Thank you if you stuck around to the end. Um, he came out a lot bigger than I thought he was going to and I think that's because I had a bigger sheet of paper if I'd stayed with a smaller one he might have been a bit smaller but he's okay he's okay that size um, I'm going to put the course detail thing in the community tab today so if you want to put your name down then go for it Um, yeah, so keep an eye out for the community tab. Should be later on today sometime, hopefully. And um, yeah, thanks for joining me for my second hand-drawn card. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.